Oh no! What's going on? I think I accidentally took the wrong turn and ended up on a G-Gage track. Oh no! I can't move. This can't be good. Hello? Did you hear that? Anyone there? Hello? Merry Christmas everyone! Today I'm excited to show you the Lionel Polar Express G-Gage train. With the success of the movie The Polar Express, it was sort of a no-brainer for train companies to cash in on sales by selling their own products to reflect something that is popular in today's culture. I mean, we see this all the time, don't we? Well, Rio and Lionel both agreed to terms to partner with the copyright owner and create their own trains to reflect the book and movie. As you can see from the outside of this box, they really spent some time with the marketing team. The outside of the box is actually one of the most important things to companies looking to sell their products, and it's definitely eye candy here. They were really banking on the idea that families would buy these sets primarily on the fact that they enjoyed the movie or book. Alright, let's open this puppy up. Wow, this is actually a pretty big box. Okay, here we go. First thing we see is a nice instructions manual, but you know what, who needs this? Here's a good look at the inside of the box. The packaging is actually pretty nice. The contents of the box are nicely packaged. And here we see a couple of AA batteries and, wow, a slew of C-sized batteries. Looks like this thing's going to cost some dough if I need to keep replacing batteries. Also included in the box is a couple of tiny characters, the conductor and the star of the show, the kid. Let's move on to the Polar Express coaches. I gotta say, to be honest, yes this is somewhat of a cheap train retailing for around $100 or so, but the detail on the coaches are really not that bad. Here's a nice close up of the star of the show, the engine. Once again, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the amount of detail on this piece as well. And here is where all your maintenance money is gonna go, the battery hold for the Polar Express engine, wow. Sure takes a lot of batteries. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention about the coaches is that one of them has a hidden pop-out door that reveals a disappearing hobo, which is a nice addition to this set as seen here as I operate it. Alright, let's take a look at the other side of the box. What do we got here? Looks like track and the official Lionel remote control device. Ah, uh, that's where the AA batteries go. Well, that's what's in the box. Now, let's find out how this train runs. Is it really worth your hard-earned money? Now, you can actually create many different track setups, but for this video, I went ahead and made a standard circle track. All right, here's the Polar Express moving for the first time. I really can't say it wows me. Yes, I need to take into consideration that it is a cheaper train and try not to compare it with more expensive trains. But, man, it just seems a bit powerless, and I've got it moving 100%. One cool feature is that you can reverse the train anytime you want to by switching a button on the remote. I have seen cheaper G-scale trains that do not allow this, so it's kind of a cool extra feature. On a positive note, I'm really impressed with the sound effects on the locomotive. They seem pretty true to higher-end products, and they even include some famous lines from the movie to add to that Polar Express touch. I can't say that this train wowed me with its amazing features and with the product breakdown field test that we did. However, for the price, you could probably find something comparable that's a little cheaper and a little bit better. I mean, you are paying for the name here, right? However, if you're in the market for an electric train that features the Polar Express, then this is one of the cheapest options you can get. If you've got the money to spend, I would consider checking out Lionel's higher end model. Thanks for watching.
Oh, what is wrong with this thing? I can't hear anything. It, it must be broken.